this is a short introduction to uh, the will to lead, elite leadership, master of business leadership number one. My name is Sigrid Anderson. I'm the chairman of KF Anderson Leadership Academy. Why should you be a leader? There are two reasons, and some people they actually mix them up. Some people don't like to be a leader because they have the ambition to be a leader. I can just tell you one thing, that will not work at all. Other, one, other people they want to be a leader because they want to do something for other people, or something for the world, or something for the company, or a new product, new service, new customer, or whatever. This is leadership. The reason why ambitions is not leadership is because you do only do it for yourself. And for that reason, it will not work as a leader. People never figure out that you're always working for yourself, you always take the credit to yourself. That means that people have stopped working for you. They don't, want, they don't like that. So a leader is someone who does something for other people. The interesting thing about this is to, to start up a process of what I call constant improvement processes that comes from the bottom of the organization. Leadership is always bottom up, management is always bottom down, and what we're talking about here is leadership. So you're always involved, each and every one, in the processes. Leadership means that you can see things that other people can't see. What does that mean? That means that you have an idea, a purpose, maybe even a beautiful idea, a very good idea, uh, that, you want to, um, that you want to bring forward. That is leadership. So you see things other people don't see. The other thing is here that you have to make sure that this what you see is something that is better than you, lasts longer than you, is more important than you, and bring more value to the world or to the company than you are able to do yourself. That is something that people love, and for that reason they will follow you. So you see things other people don't see. Another thing is, and that's the next step, and that is the communication. So this is about being able to communicate exactly what you want out of what you see and what you want out of that situation, going back to the purpose of the company, will make the difference here. So in communicating, you have two tasks. First and foremost, impress the most important people in that change that you want to see and inspire all the others. That's very important. So impress and inspire. The next, uh, next and the last thing is to set the challenge and get it done. To set the challenge means that you can see things other people can't see. It has to be a challenge and the big challenge and, and the more challenge it is, the better it is. And then get things done. This is called execution. Many people drop, jump over that and think that everything, now they have told the people, but that's not the point. You have to set the scene and get things done. That's your job as a leader. This is all these things that we train here on the will to lead. How to get it done, both to see things, to communicate things, and get things done. I look very much forward to see you on the train. Thank you very much. Have a good day.